Now you'd have to say this is a nice title for a dish. Dead easy, bloody tasty, chocky putty. Well, something like that. <laughs> it is, it's actually, if I remember rightly, it's a recipe. Because I, what I do is I take recipes out of the paper and magazines and things like that, and I, I put them in my sort of folder, which is about that bloody big these days. And then I forget where they came from. But I think this is a Gary Rhodes. Do you remember Gary Rhodes? He was the English chef with the spiky hair. Good chef. To do some nice things. I think it's his recipe. You'd hardly call it a recipe. Anyway, we start off with some bought chocolate brownie. You make it yourself if you like. If you want to make things complicated, well, why would you bother? 225 grams of that, and I've just chopped it up. I've left a little bit at the end for me. I do like brownie. I don't know whether this is the best brownie I've ever tasted in my life. Oh, all right. All right. So we put that over to the side for the moment. What I've got here is 225 grams of dark cooking chocolate. Buy good dark cho cooking chocolate for this because it makes all the difference. I have just melted that in the microwave and I'll just mix it up a bit. 125 mils of thickened cream, which I've added a splash of Grand Marnier and I've just brought it to the boil and turned it off and left it to cool a little. And then we add it to our chocolate mix. Don't put it all in at once because what will happen is it'll curdle. So just keep on mixing it in and mix it in very well. Remember how when our mother used to make biscuits and things and we always were allowed to lick the spoon and the, and the bowl and things like that. And then she bought those plastic meanies, which are the spatula, and she'd get it all out and it really... Am I allowed to say pissed us off? I suppose I am. It's my YouTube site. So pissed us off as kids. Because we no longer had all these wonderful bits and pieces. I've got another 125 mils of cream, which I'm just going to whip to soft peaks. Right, so be a bit careful about this because I don't want it too stiff. And I reckon that's about right. Right, so let's just whisk that up and we will then add that to the cream little by little. But I want it fairly smooth at this stage. As I said, little by little here. The only problem with this dish, it's messy because you've got all the chocolate all over the shop. The end result is good. So who cares how messy it is? So don't beat the heck out of this. Just add it little by little. Out comes our spatula mini. My brother Don in particular was not happy about my mum because he used to love the leftover biscuit dough. So you got very upset when she came up with her wonderful new cunning plan. Right, into the brownies. And then we will just mix it up. And I'm just using these. You can use any glasses you like, but it does go well in the martini glasses. Now, you could definitely serve it with just some whipped cream, but it seems ridiculous because you've got so much cream in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that for a couple of hours in my fridge and then I'm going to serve it with some Turkish Delight ice cream. Any ice cream would be nice, but Turkish Delight. Can you imagine? Beautiful. From my mate Jock, <laughs> who makes the most beautiful ice cream. So I'll leave the choice up to you, but my suggestion, if your local shop has Turkish Delight, beautiful. And what will happen when it sets, of course, that, that brownie will soften a little and you get the lovely mix of the chocolate and the brownie and what we then get and I'm going to make a mess I really am I remember my dear mate Dick Gavin Disney says there is nothing attractive by about seeing somebody eating on television but bugger it I'm going to have a taste oh. Oh. did I tell you that that cream that I bought to the Boil, I put some Grand Marnier in, I can't remember. But you can just taste it a little bit, not too much, just a good splash of that into the fridge. Jocks, or anyone's, do the light ice cream on the side. That is a ripper, very simple dessert. So that's all set. And I'm going to drive you mad because I've done this before, because I think with chocolate, I do love 
this Pedri Zimenez, the, the Spanish black sherry, and I think it goes with chocolate brilliantly. But French champagne would work too well, or, or, you know, a good Australian sparkling. But I do think this Pedro Zimenez is a match made in heaven when it comes to chocolate. And boy, I can tell you that is chocolate. A generous scoop of my, oh, that's not bad, Ian. I'm quite proud of that. You're gonna to have to take the photograph quickly because Jock's ice creams, which are absolutely brilliant, do melt quite quickly because there's nothing artificial and unnatural. There we go, this wonderful chocky pud with Pedro Zimenez and, of course, Turkish Delight ice cream. Guys, to show your support for my channel and to keep in the loop, subscribe. It's easy to do, and don't forget, it's free. Okay, okay. cheers.